As you begin to plan your summer schedule, make sure to reserve at least one day on your calendar for a visit to the Hosanna School Museum in Darlington. This beautifully restored schoolhouse is the first of four Freedmen's Bureau schoolhouses in Harford County. With me on the program to invite you to explore this historic treasure is Dr. Iris Lay Barnes, Executive Director of the Hosanna School Museum. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you as well. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm glad you're here. I have a confession. Um, you and I had a chance to talk before coming on air, and I had not known about the Freedmen's School and learned so much about it. It's a fascinating history, so I'm sure our audience, our viewers would love to hear as well. Well, hopefully after today, <laughs> more people will hear about it, but it's one of Harford County's treasures, and we have so many. And Hosanna it represents the uh, Reconstruction period, the time after the Civil War. So inside we interpret from Civil War to Civil Rights, we, you know, or as we say, the transition to freedom. Right. But as a Freedmen's Bureau school, it was built in 1867. Okay. Uh, with assistance from the Freedmen's Bureau, which was mandated by the uh, War Department to help the recently freed slaves, to uh, help them, you know, reunite their families yeah. with disputes with their former slaveholders and to get an education. So there were and a so, lot of challenges. There were right? many challenges. Freedom wasn't just all life was wonderful. You no. had many oppositions, people who didn't want you to be free or no. want you to get an education. And so there were a lot of battles and there was violence and a lot of dark stories, but a lot of great stories. And so this is one of the great stories about resilience and the brilliance of African Americans against the odds with all these obstacles in their way. So you help recreate, or maybe not recreate, but educate people about what was happening then at the schoolhouse today. You, you do that. What, so if I'm visiting the schoolhouse, what kinds of things would I be participating in or viewing or seeing? So, you know, we like to tell that story of the one-room school experience, mm -hmm. but what was it like, not just in Harford County, we try to bring it into context, United States context. So all of the various issues that were, the African Americans were facing at that time, as I mentioned, gaining an education was one of the major yeah. issues because maybe if it wasn't against the law, there were people who didn't want you to get an education. So I say to the young people, get your education because it's so <laughs> valuable that people would try to stop you from getting it. But you'll see the one room school and our programming includes maybe we'll do film screening or we'll have oh. costume interpreters who embody a particular personality so that people can learn that way and then ask that person questions. Oh, and so, uh, you know, we might have Harriet Tubman talk about the Underground Railroad. Harford County is right on the upper edge yeah. next to Cecil, right near the Susquehanna River. Yeah. So the Underground Railroad was very important in Harford County. There are many stories that we're trying to capture now, and those are some of the stories that we reveal at Hosanna. So you, Now, you mentioned Harriet Tubman. You also, there is a, a reenactor, an Edmonia Highgate. Yes, Can yes. you tell me about her? Edmonia Highgate was Hosanna's first teacher, okay. and she comes from Syracuse, New York. She's sent by a Christian organization they, you know, the American Missionary Association, we're fortunate to have some of her letters in oh. order to kind of recreate her life. And so we have a costume interpreter who brings her to life for audiences to ask her questions. But she was associated with many uh, abolitionists, Frederick Douglass, Henry Highland really? Garlet, Garnett, wow. uh, Francis L.M. Watkins Harper, who she meets in New York, but they're all Marylanders, which is exciting. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> and so she had to be c courageous to come down here, travel alone, face opposition. Conditions were not ideal. Mm -hmm. They got to find places to live and board with families. And well, it's maybe... great that you're telling her story. Mm -hmm. And th you do even more than this. Tell me a little bit about the Freedom Initiative, what that's all about. Our Transition to Freedom yes. Initiative, yes. So that's really where we have various projects, um, signage throughout the county, oh. um, a story map project we're working on, and a booklet that tells the story from civil war to civil rights because as I mentioned freedom didn't just come is instantly with the Emancipation Proclamation no. or the Constitution Maryland's Constitution but it was a process some people didn't want to let go yeah. 
yeah. of, you know, b the enslaved people. Sure. So freedom was a process. And so you look, we look at all the various issues and the sites of memory that tell those stories. Okay. Now, we mentioned that there are four freedmen schools in Harford County. We've talked about Hosanna. There's another one called McComas, right? In McComas yes, Village. Yes. Can you tell me about that? That's something that you also, is part of your organization and you oversee that. Yes, exactly. So uh, Hosanna's in Darlington, right. one end of the county. McComas is in Joppa and it's called McComas Institute. And we recently, McComas Institute or Village, which includes the school, the church, and the um, cemetery, uh, designated as a landmark district. Uh, oh, terrific. Through, uh, Harford County Landmark District. So we're still restoring uh, the school there, and the church will hit that next. And yeah. so that'll be another place to tell these stories and bring those stories yeah, to it's life. It's a beautiful building, too. We had a picture up, up, up just yes, a while yes. ago. So, yes. so okay. the exterior has been mostly restored yeah. a couple of years ago. We're working on the inside okay. with some <laughs> with some permanent exhibitions. And Great. so, it, you know, give us, give us another year. Come okay. on and visit. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we're we'll going to open back. up this year with okay. some Temporary exhibitions. Terrific. Okay, we have a little less than two minutes left, so I want to get to some of your big events. Okay. Your, your signature event, which is the Upper Bay Juneteenth event. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This festival, it's a, a, a fun-filled day for the whole family. We call it edutainment. <laughs> so you, you're going to learn a lot, but you're going to be entertained at the same time. And we have costume interpreters. We have buffalo soldiers. We have horse rides. You know, the usual vendors and food trucks and... Lots of children activities, concert, African dancers. It's just a whole day from 12 to 6 to celebrate achievements and, and culture. Okay, all right. Then in May, you have something which is part of your speaker series. Can you yes. tell me about that, too? So we're calling it our Sister Centennial. Centennial. I was going to let you say that. Story I didn't want to say series, it. which is, <laughs> we're, you know, we're joining in the Harford County celebration of 250 years. Wow. So we each month featured a a storyteller, and they bring these stories to life different ways, their own ways, maybe through poetry, through drumming and singing, and through uh, tall tales. And so in May, we have Dr. David Fakunle, who will bring his stories, and really from an African perspective. So it's, it's, we're looking at different angles of this multifaceted, very complex story Terrific. of Harford County. and the African-American experience. All right, well, so you have a wonderful website. We're gonna put that website up right now so our viewers can see that and they can log on and then get a, a lot of the information about the Juneteenth Festival, yes. about the speaker series, about just visiting the a museum as well. So, well, it's been wonderful talking with you. Thank you so much, Iris, and we look forward, I look forward to coming and visiting this museum All for right. the first time. Thanks. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right.